Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Star Daily Card Reading for August 29th, 2021. I hope we're all okay here. I do apologize. I know the weekly and all these dailies for this little chunk of time. Ugh, I, even I feel like the messages have been kind of ooh, like all over the place. I'm doing my best here to like make it make sense. But hopefully by now as you've gone through the experiences, you can put it into context for yourself. Do not take abusive behavior from people when they go, because people are using social media as a weapon. And uh, I had that happen too, where somebody did something really awful and abusive. And then when I set a boundary and I stepped back, they took to social media. It's part of the smear campaign that a lot of cluster B personality disorder people will do. So just be careful. Yeah. Stay away from those abusive situations because it's time for us to claim love. That's what this says. It says love. And it's self-love, it's self-respect, and this is also opening yourselves up to real love and love of friendships or, um, you know, love partner. I would even say family members. If you have family members that do not love and honor and respect you, I mean, you don't have, I mean, you do what's right for you, but you don't have to cut them out entirely, but definitely you don't have to give them so much of you. If you need to keep them at arm's length, if it has to be a very shallow relationship, let it be. Let it be. Your love is precious. Your love is pure. And if somebody can't appreciate that, they don't see your value, then don't give it to them. I mean, you can give them like love, like unconditional love as a human being, human to human. But what I'm saying is if someone, let's say it's a potential love partner who all they ever have to say to you is, you know, how you're not living up to their expectations. <gasps> oh, Lord. <laughs> no <laughs> that is not love <laughs> that is not love that's probably a karmic situation as a matter of fact or you have friends who you know again they expect you to just they're sloppy in their lives and they expect you to put your life on hold to fix their problems or they take things on and then don't want to take accountability for it or take responsibility for their choices you can step back and you can be harmonious I just realized she's playing a flute you're not gonna be able to see it it's like I don't know um but, you know, tap into what you love, <laughs> okay? Don't let people just siphon off of you. That's a big thing for this week. Don't let people just siphon off of you. And don't discredit people who can come in and show you love because you never pictured your life going that way. I'm really thinking of the example of, um, you know, somebody who is looking for a love partner. And maybe somebody comes along and they just have a regular life like you do. And you're like, I always pictured myself with someone really rich. <laughs> so no, okay, like I'm not gonna, <sighs> we're, we're starting to open our hearts up and let some of the conditioning and the brainwashing go so that we can actually be happy and we can actually connect with one another. The other thing that I wanna offer here is if you are somebody, especially an empath, an empath would go through a lot of like uh, relationship changes, uh, friend changes and all of that. And you might have a period of isolation. Isolation has become this incredibly dirty word. Um, and I really do feel like that's because it's pretty, it's a pretty threatening idea to people who do have to feed off of others to sustain themselves. But if you're an empath, that's your time where you are recharging your batteries. So if you're somebody who has been single, for example, for a very long time, and others are saying there's something wrong with you because you're not in a relationship, tap into your wisdom. Honor your wisdom. You know what's right for you. You know you are processing. You are learning what kind of love you really do want in your life. Or if you've had to step back from family members or step back from friends who are not honoring you. Maybe they are abusive. They're cruel to you. Their love is very conditional. There might be a narrative thrown at you that you're the bad person because you're not trying to make it work. Or you're not doing enough to connect with that person. No, no, no. You don't have to connect with people under their terms. It should be an equal exchange, okay? So I wanna offer that. If you are living a life where you are just stepping back and processing for yourself, you're doing your own self-healing, your introspection, that's okay. Don't let anybody try to coerce you into being something that you're not. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.